how to set up global settings in X4 Foundations, sometimes will appear messages on bottom right corner with some notifications, and sometimes it can ask to tell what to do in certain situations. As a consequence, setup will be interrupted and you even can't move or do anything for a few seconds. If you don't know what is it set, check top right corner suggested video. So, this notification can be a problem if you have tons of ships. Instead of deciding what they have to do in certain situations, you can make them do a specific action by default. To do so, go in the map using button M. Now go in player information that is accessible by the third button top middle. Then in the first subtab called Empire Overview you can find global standing orders. By clicking it will be open in the setting menu. Actually you can set what your ship have to do in case of one of these three situations happening. First, in case the police stop to scan the ship, you can choose that by default your ship will do. Attack them is not the best solution, because you can lose reputation and in some worst cases you will lose also your ship. If your ship doesn't contraband, it's better to comply the police request, because your ship did not have any illegal wars on board. Otherwise, it's better to make your ship escape, to prevent them from losing uh, the precious cargo. The next option will comply with the scanning request waiting until completed. But in case your ship have something illegal, it won't drop it. The last option corresponds to ignore the police and continue doing what it's doing before. In this case, the best option for normal ship is the last one, to prevent slowing down or stopping the ship. While for sluggers that carry contraband, it's better directly to escape. In case you have some sluggers, I suggest to set the last option by default, while for sluggers themselves only set manually to escape. To do so, go in map, fifth button in top middle. Then go in property on its second button in the top left. Find the slugger ship, right click its name and select informations. Now go in second subtab on top left to access ship behavior. At this point, under reaction to event, you can disable usage of global setting and choose escape. For the pirate harassment, it always happen if you have some valuable cargo they want to steal. If you bought the best defense equipment and think that all your ship you own can defeat them, you can choose to attack them directly. In case you're feared to lose your ship or spend too much to repair it, this is more logical to comply the pirate requests by releasing your cargo. If your ship has combat engine and thrusters, mainly you can easily escape also if attacked, in this case choose the third option. The more illogical in this case is just to wait, because it will probably result in a destruction of your ship. But in case it have an armed escort, it can be used in order to allow the guards will do the dirty work. The last option can be used if your ship never transports wars. In fact, if a pirate scanned your ship and didn't find anything of valuable, it will go away. Anyway, in this case it's more logical to set by default to escape pirates, while manually tweak special cases like fleets and military ships. The last event is in case your ship will spot abandoned ships. The abandoned one can be claimed and used to make extra money by selling them or used for some activities. The first option will make the ship that encountered it to claim it. The biggest problem in this case is that you must have at least one marine in your crew. This means that until the ship finishes the marines, it will claim everything. And after finishing them, they stop to claim ships. This means that you will need to buy more marines for this ship manually. 
Obviously, if you want to continue to make money by claiming abandoned ships. In my personal opinion, it's not the best option. The more profitable is to ask them to mark it on the map if you want to claim it by your own, securing that it won't be ignored. Next option is to protect it. This probably is the worst, because if it's a dangerous zone, you will risk to lose your own ship. Also, it will babysit it until you notice the problem. This option is good only in case you own a fleet. In fact, some of the ships can be only used to mark the abandoned one, while some other will have the claim order. In case the claiming ship finishes the marines, thanks to the marking, you will understand which problem they have. The last option is similar to ignored, it will continue directly to do its work without checking it. Anyway, the best option is by default to mark the location. And in this case is also useful setup the notification to tell you about the discovery. For this purpose you can check the notification option. This way you will see where there are some abandoned ships. At this point, if you want to learn how to manually claim them, check top right corner suggested video. But also you can keep one ship just to do this job for you. Just set up manually to claim ships if possible, get some marines on board, and if someone finds any abandoned ship you can send this to claim it.